Hello everybody, and my name is Matt, and uh, today we're going to be continuing with the Java tutorial we did last time, so um, exciting stuff. Well first, today we're going to be analysing the program and learning a bit about commenting, why you should comment, and yada yada yada. So, let's analyse this program. So when we left off, we had an SRC folder, this is basically a source folder, it's where all your code will go, always. Now we have a package that it automatically generated for us. So what's a package? Well, a package is effectively almost like a folder full of code for Java. It's a very good way of storing code. Um, if I just, as an example, open my game engine, I have com.base.engine. And if I go into the navigation, as you can see, it's SRC com base engine. So I could have that. I would then have com, uh, like math engine, and it would have all the math functions, and it would be a very nice way of storing it. If you're wondering the difference between the package explorer and the navigation explorer, this is actually a true what it actually looks like in the file explorer, like in your Windows file explorer, and uh, this is what it. This basically is just a neater way of looking at it. If you ever want to close a project, say you've made a new one, right click, close project. And then you see you have, uh, so let's analyze this program. So we have class1.java, so I'm just going to go quickly over what a class is. A class is effectively something that represents an object. Um, the whole idea with object oriented programming is that we make data that can represent something in real life. Uh, but we'll go more into this later, don't worry about it too much for now. If you don't get it, don't worry about it, we will do this in a later tutorial, in depth. So, we start off with a package. What is a package? We just explained that, so we don't need to explain that. And we just explained what a class is. Now, classes are surrounded in these braces here. And the braces are called, uh, well, the braces, everything inside the braces is the body is referred to as the body of the class and same goes for this this is a method it's although it's a very special type of method it's called the main method and the main method is run instantly as soon as the program starts so for example if I write system dot print line hello world over here you can see it's going to come with a bunch of errors why because it's not inside the public static void main it, everything that is done that needs to be done when running the program needs to be done in the main or it has to be a function called from the main if you go from come from coming from other programming languages here for example in C++ this is the same as your int main But in Java, you just need to know there's public static void main. And uh, static basically means that everything, uh, it's not linked to this class, it just exists. Void means that it returns nothing, and this here is the argument you're providing. So when you call a method, you might want to provide some arguments uh, that change the outcome of what the method does. And this basically means that if you want to call it from a command line, you can add multiple string arguments and you can print out those arg arguments by going like args 0, for example. And if it's not called of any arguments, I don't know what arg 0 would actually output. Yeah, an exception, because I didn't call it with any arguments, so it's physically not that long. Just replace this hello world here. So, what's this then? System dot out dot print line. That's a lot just to stick some text on the screen. Oh, you'd be right. But the way Java works is what I said last time. It's kind of module based. You're supposed to import things so that you can use them in the script. That's why you have the job system library. Well, uh, when having like all these different modules, it's necessary for organization purposes for you to accurately find everything and be able to use certain functions. So, 
system is the first one out is the next one uh, print line is the final one which is which is when we actually get to the function we want so it's this kind of like hierarchy if you will of um function. so there's more so you can have system dot and then you can see all the things that can be called in system all the things that are in system you can have system dot in let's take input we'll get onto that in a later tutorial though so this is effectively just the function print line is just a function to call to the screen so okay that's all good what if you can't remember this stuff how would I note it down well I could go into notepad there uh, just run notepad.exe and uh, just go system dot out dot print line hello world and this prints to the console but that's a really stupid way of doing it right you don't really want to have to go into multiple different files just to find out what a line of code does so uh, there's a thing called comments there in pretty much every programming language and in Java they start with two slashes and that is a comment now what if you want to write a description of something would you do this um, so we go oops, do that it's useful it is okay oh yeah so you have this but it's a bit of a pain for you to have to type like um, these slashes everywhere and there's no way of it easily being expandable well here it comes in multi-line comments and these start with a forward slash and an asterisk and they end with a asterisk and a forward slash in a clip you can just type enter and it automatically expands the multi-line comment so you can like type your stuff here and the clips will make space for it um, which is why I would recommend always using a clip with Java because it has a lot of features like that which are very useful so this that's a multi-line comment it allows you to do a lot and it's very useful so let's start commenting our code so class holds data that represents objects don't worry if you don't understand that this this will probably these notes will probably be used in a later tutorial. So public static void main string arts. This is called when we run the program. And calling is basically it's run and everything inside the body of this function is run. But like method, sorry. Yeah, call them methods, I'm calling them functions because I'm used to uh, C plus plus, but in Java they are called methods. This prints to the console. And yeah, so that's how you do commenting, and that's a little bit of why it's useful. Um, in the companion uh, video for this, I will explain why you should comment your code, and how you should comment your code, and proper conventions for commenting your code. So, thank you very much um, for watching this job tutorial. This has been episode 2. Next time we will probably get on to variables and data types because they are a very large part of programming and the earlier on you learn them, the more important it is. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.